first thing I saw, because I use the Newark airport all the time, you're pulling out of Newark. Is this something that is related to uh, real issues involving time to pull in your horns? Is this metaphorically important? Or what we're really talking about is, don't worry about it, Jim. We're going to come back. The Max will triumph over it. And that's just an asterisk. Because I read it as being, wow, maybe Southwest is in retreat. Hey, Jim, good morning. And uh, hey, this is a good day. Uh, so, uh, you know, we're, we're managing our way through uh, the max. I think the, uh, as, a, as an overarching theme, I want to make sure that you all and, and your viewers understand that we have one issue, and it's the max. So, no, we're not in retreat. Um, the fact that Boeing found another issue uh, extended the max grounding for the rest of the year. And so we're just in a situation where we need to tactically manage through that. Newark, uh, to be uh, just to cut to the uh, bottom line on that, is very straightforward. We've consolidated our flying in Ohio to a couple of air airports. Uh, we consolidated flying into Detroit by uh, closing Flint last year. We serve one airport in Chicago, one in Dallas, one in Houston. Uh, New York is a destination market for us. We don't have a large presence. We're, we face very large competitors between JFK, LaGuardia, and Newark. So this is simply uh, a recognition that Newark is underperforming, and there's an opportunity to improve our New York performance by consolidating the operation into LaGuardia. Uh, we'll use those airplanes to focus on expanding in the interim here while we're not able to fly the MAX into Hawaii where we're having great success. So we're simply okay. redeploying resources here temporarily. Uh, we have great success in large markets by focusing on one airport. We'll have more seats in LaGuardia uh, and we'll serve our customers well there.